Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's tutorial is all about inviting your team members to collaborate in Figma as of 2025. Whether you're building a brand new design system, working on UI prototypes, or just want an easy way to share your work, inviting teammates is the key first step to smoother workflows and awesome results. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to do it and all the handy sharing options that Figma gives you. Let's get right into it. The very first thing you'll want to do is head up to the top right corner of your Figma workspace. You're looking for that little share button. It's usually marked with the word share and maybe a small icon. Give it a click. This is the command center for sharing your work with others, so it's where all the magic starts. Once the share menu pops open, you should see a space where you can add email addresses. This is where you actually invite people onto your project. Type in the email address of the person you want to invite. Make sure you get it right, especially if you're working with a big team, since typos can mean someone misses out on the notification. Now before you press invite, just double check for any spelling errors. When you're ready, hit that invite button. This will send an invitation straight to their email, giving them access to your Figma file. It's as easy as sending an email and just as quick. Next, you might notice a section labeled who has access. This is one of those settings that can make or break your collaboration experience. By default, invited users might get editing access, but sometimes you only want them to view your project without making any changes. If that's the case, simply find the drop-down menu next to their name and switch it to Can View. This ensures they can review your designs without accidentally shifting things around. It's a small step, but it can save you a lot of hassle, like if you're sharing your work with clients who just want to check in or teammates who are only giving feedback. Now, let's say you want to share your design file with more people at once, or maybe you just want to make it available to anyone on your team without manually adding email addresses one by one. Here's a quick trick, look for the option to copy the files link. Once you set the access permissions, for example, can view, click copy link. Now you've got a special link that you can drop into Slack, Teams, or even an email. Anyone with the link and the right permissions can jump straight into your file. It's especially handy for larger teams or for design reviews where a bunch of people need to take a look at the same time. If you're working with a development team and your organization has the paid version of Figma, you can also generate a dev mode link. Dev mode streamlines the handoff process, giving developers everything they need, specs, assets, code snippets in one place. Just click to copy the dev mode link, then share this with your devs. It takes the guesswork out of implementation and helps keep everyone on the same page. Lastly, there's something called the prototype link. If you've set up interactive prototypes in Figma, think clickable flows or animated transitions. You can copy a dedicated prototype link to share with team members, stakeholders, or even users for testing. It's the best way to showcase how your designs will feel in action without giving edit access to your whole file. So there you go. With just a few clicks, you can invite anyone into your Figma workspace and choose exactly the level of access they should have. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or run into issues. I'm here to help. Subscribe if you want more clear, actionable tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching and happy designing.